All right. <clears throat> In plain speech, now I'll explain some things to a lot of people. Plain speech, I descended from the third heaven and I've kept descending and kept descending and kept descending so that when I speak, I can speak at length with experience because I know for sure the way I was led by me up here where the Holy Spirit came from, according to scripture, the spirit of truth the Lord Jesus, who is me, and as scripture says, that the world can't see. So that differentiates me and what I was communicating through various means as close to what I meant as it pertains to the definition of what people believed versus what they knew. That's the plainest I can get to that. We've come a long way from Shakespeare, beloveds as far as the command of English. So this all encompassing teaching that has lasted the last, well, for me directly, nine years <clears throat> has been about what I have learned so that now I can teach versus conversation. So we're looking at the construction of the new heaven and the new earth. And there's a reason for this. <sighs> to differentiate myself at times. And the reason why I did that is I could notice there was another spirit imitating me in your life. And if I noticed that you were leaning towards following that again, I used strong language because there had to be a differentiation. The entire purpose, there cannot be a definition outside of scripture. And from what I've seen and I know why, I started viewing Christians as, wait, I was trained in the church. I have an Issachar anointing. God chose someone, to put it simply, to make sure that he first heard from me up here and laid that anointing on me. So my eyes then know the difference between okay that's what it was like to be asleep but i was not asleep when you have eyes to see it's different so no i'm not and will never be ops satan just means adversary anyway the devil has come down to earth <clears throat> And it's not one huge spirit called the devil. From what I have experienced because of the two different lifestyles a Christian is living right now. I have my people that are following me. I have a whole entire team of prophets that say the exact same thing that me up here 
is communicating. And then I have people that labeled themselves Christians that aren't doing any of that or attempting to or being led to. So what this of course <clears throat> will entail for this new heaven, this new earth, and the reason why true Christians are not set up for success to be able to thrive, worship God in peace, and carry out their daily journey with Jesus. This, of course, upset me. <clears throat> it did not matter how many times I would say that's not me. Please stop speaking for me. But that has been off and on for... The sake of being easily understood, we'll say 500 years. <clears throat> what I noticed the most is a Christian could be the enemy one day and a Christian could be trying depending on what they were going through. If things stopped going good for them, they would repent and they would start trying again. So it made it very difficult for myself and my people to trust anyone. The world had horrible experiences with people that called themselves Christians. So this veil that I just tore apart so you could see I have always been able to see so the preparation for this moment has been very very copiously recorded in every sense of the word on the news through history here through my prophets. With this cloud of witnesses, and you can see it in my comments, the Father confirms me. And that's the first important part. I love you.